SE5-1000, The Next Dimension. This course was designed to work together with the new Color Light Harmonizer, but covers a lot of different aspects related to the meridians, the work of Dr. Pop, light work, and the work of Dr. Hammer, as well as a lot of different aspects of health and wellness. The course comes with six DVDs. Each one is an hour long, approximately. Some are a little bit longer. And then we have two extra uh, DVDs. One's a DVD that has the Solfeggio frequencies and videos to work together with your SE5 with it. And then also extra programs and files that we work with in the course. It also comes with a 69 page workbook which covers using right hand left hand dial tunings in a more advanced form than we did in the advanced training course. Working with reagents, advanced uses of reagents and we had the privilege of having Ludi Larson who's developed these particular set of reagents with us in the course and she's going to describe it to you how to use reagents to their fullest advantage. The basic 12 reagents and then uh, we've got additional another 24 additional reagents for a total of 36. Then we talk about meridians, the different aspects of the meridians, how they work together with light and color and how to use uh, some of the new accessories that you can get for the SE5-1000, the color light harmonizer and the ultraviolet probe with the meridians. And then we go into the work of Darius Dinshaw who developed color therapy. And I have a few charts in the workbook but it also comes with the book Let There Be Light. And this is a fantastic book working together with color frequencies amazing stuff. Darius Dinshaw was a pioneer in this and of course he has a difficult history like many of the pioneers but there's some fascinating information in this book and then also how to use color therapy. This is a picture of a, a burned child and they use just color therapy to completely heal her from this burn. And it goes through a lot of different aspects of, of exactly how to use color for specific disease patterns. Really excellent book. And that comes with the course because it's very integral to using color with the SE5. We also go into the new medicine of Dr. Hammer. For example, the, the five iron rules of cancer and also his uh, chart of Germanic New Medicine. And this is just such an, a fascinating story. If you don't know much about Dr. Hammer's work, you might want to Google it and read up on it. But we have a lot of information in the course how to apply the SE5 with some of his perspectives on healing. And we also go into things like the Solfeggio frequencies and just some super fascinating work. Uh, this is, I have to say, this is probably one of my best courses that I've ever taught with some of the best information that I've been able to gather over the years. And I've been, like I ran into the Let There Be Light book, I guess it was 1987, 1988, somewhere around there. And I did a lot with Dinshaw's work. We found Dr. Hammer's work in 1988 also. So a lot of these things I've worked with for many, many years and have put together into a course that will help you to apply the knowledge that you have with the SE5 with these different modalities of healing, health, and wellness. I'll play a couple samples from the course and you can see what it looks like for yourself.
Okay. So let me get back to our to our screen up front. Computer. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Just like in Star Trek, you know. It must be scalar technology. Yeah, right. Okay, so this breaks it down uh, by a color, which is really handy in the chart. And when before when we saw the little picture of the brain, you'll see that he keeps it in different colors so it's easy to recognize which part of the brain we're working with. So the mesoderm, this is a chart for the mesoderm, and it has its own uh, special biological programs, and it deals with attack conflicts. So I'm going to just keep going through this because we would like to... Uh, do a little measuring and, and checking for ourselves as well. Uh, in the mesoderm, the breast glands are involved, the pleura and peritoneum. So there's a lot of information on these maps. These are the hammerherd maps and where they're related to. And I printed that chart as well in your book. That's something that is very important. Let's talk a little bit about time scanning. In a little bit, we're going to go back in time and we're going to clear the problem back in time. When they did the Gregorian chants, they used specific frequency steps in the chanting in the old days that would harmonize the system and uplift and create a spiritual uh, upliftment and healing process. Those chants, there are 61 of those chants uh, that got lost somewhere uh, along the way in history that were using these frequencies. And they've rediscovered them. But these are the frequencies. And it's, this is fascinating work, um, both mathematically and frequency-wise. For example, the third note, frequency 528, relates to the note mi on the scale and derives from the phrase mi ra gasortium in Latin meaning miracle. Stunningly, this exact frequency is what is used by genetic biochemists to repair broken DNA the genetic blueprint upon which life is based. That's just one little tidbit of how fun these things are. If it's in the room, it will work anyway. If you're in the room and you want it for yourself, but if the person is at a distance, it's better to connect the audio cable so it's, because that's connected then right into the scalar uh, coils and sends it to the, use the headphone jack right out of your computer right to the SE5, yeah. So in order to balance your DNA activation program, first you need to import that program. So go up to File and click on Import a Program and browse to your CD-ROM. It's playing the video and the sound and balancing the DNA repair program. So go ahead and follow along with this and do that yourself as well. There's something uh, very fun, which we've kind of mentioned a couple of times.